and you know, uh, I included many accounts of the different types of spectacular lucid dreams in this second book that I wrote called uh, Dream Yoga, The Royal Road to Enlightenment. And um, for those of us who don't have that regular experience of, of lucid dreaming, or maybe just once in a while and so on, then um, to read these accounts is, is actually so extraordinary. And the, the effects of some of these dreams is so extraordinary that it's, it's kind of unbelievable. So I'll just give you a little taste of like that in that um, I, not too long ago, I was teaching a course, we did an induction to make it very kind of succinct is that the, the, the guy who had this dream was dreaming and he became lucid. And then he, he saw his different traumas as if they were balloons. And in his lucid dream, he started to pop the balloons. And as he popped the balloons, then he felt that he was completely free of the traumas in, it, in a one trial type of a healing. He, he punctured these balloons and then he was free of a, of a trauma with his father or a trauma of abuse and, and so on. So this kind of um, spontaneous healing has been documented in many, many cultures, in many, many places. One thing that is very important for us to realize is that when we're dreaming, we're in the mental body. Maybe that's an unfamiliar term to some people. We also could call it the dreaming body. The mental body, it's, it's our mind is, is working, but our physical body is paralyzed. We know that we don't jump up and generally and run around and do act out our dreams. But um, the mental body is considered to be as much as seven times more powerful than the body that we have, the mind that we have and use during the daytime. So this is a very important, significant thing. That's possibly one of the most important reasons why there's this possibility of spectacular healings is that the mind is so powerful that, that we bring these much more powerful resources to bear on the trauma. So, so there, I, I've seen you know, myself many occasions of this kind of extraordinary experience, really incredible stuff, but it's not at command. You know, it's just for, for some people, I, I had one program in Australia a number of years ago, and a woman had a dream that was really quite extraordinary. And then she said to me, ah, oh, this is the second of three dreams that I'm meant to have in my lifetime. And I had the first dream like 10 years ago, and I, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this next dream. And the next dream came in her induction experience. And then she was waiting for the third dream, but even that dream was quite extraordinary. And it had to do with her having the experience of the second path of what we call the practice of natural light. So she had kind of transcended the relative aspect of mind. And then she was entering into this uh, much more profound awareness type state, even in a dream. So this is something special. Yes, that's, that's amazing. That's incredibly special. I mean, <clears throat> even if it's not on command or, or all the time reproducible, if we have the possibility to achieve uh, meaningful results and even possibly very uh, significant results, uh, using an intervention that has no side effects and no possible uh, risk factor at all, uh, such as dreaming, then that's really exciting. That's really great. 